I'm traveling to the Isle of Armor in the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass. Whatever lies ahead in this massive, open wild area will be no match for my amazing team. Enjoy the video and make sure to get a decent night's sleep tonight. All right, so after that catastrophe of a battle, I wanted to actually go in, do some raid battles and show you a few more of the Pokemon that are around here. And right now, Pokemon is having a promotion where if one, no, hold on. If, if there are 1 million defeated Zeraora, then you will get a shiny Zeraora when it, it is all said and done. So all the trainers from all around the world are going to be defeating Zeraora in a raid battle. And that raid battle is right here. As I stall for time, as I clean my glasses, my, that is looking really swirly. My name is Brian Saviano. Bricks O'Brien, hello. Uh, I am going to switch Pokemon here to a Pokemon that is better suited for what we're doing here. Zeraora is an electric type, so I'm obviously going to use Mini, right? Absolutely not. Not a chance. Uh, let's go for... Um, I feel like Cinderace is probably not great. Um... I mean, Mama Lava, I guess, right? No, because Mama Lava only has fire type. We'll just go with uh, Pepperono. All right, we'll just keep it there. Don't invite others. It's a three-star raid. So basically, this Pokemon is designed to be defeated relatively easily. And at the time of this recording, the last social media post that Pokemon put out, there were 250,000 of these guys defeated. So... And that was just after a day. I think this goes until the end of the month, so we're going to be fine. Uh, we are going to get them. It's going to be great. So let's go with a uh, effective Max Flare. Sure. I don't know if Zeraora is going to happen to put up a shield. I don't. I think a three-star, maybe one. But yeah. So uh, it's been a while since I played a three-star raid, and. I usually play the five-star raids when there's a Pokemon that I desire, but, you know, at the end of this battle here, you will not get Zeraora, as far as I know. You just defeat him. And Zeraora, you may not recognize, that is a legendary Pokemon. I don't know what relevance... Yep, awesome. I don't know what relevance he has to Pokemon at, at you know, as a whole. I think there's probably a movie based about him or something, but... Okay, so there's five five shield there but then also oh against Mudbray ouch oh not too bad uh, this Pokemon for this specific instance and whatnot here is basically designed to be defeated multiple times so like you know obviously defeating the Zeraora shouldn't be an issue for anybody who's relatively good at Pokemon it's just you know a bunch of trainers defeating a million of them a million of them accumulatively and you may say well Brian I feel like they're just going to give you the Pokemon anyways. Like, are they actually keeping track of how many Zeraora are actually defeated? And yes, they are. Because there have actually been things like this that have happened in the past with Pokemon where they have actually not given out the reward because not enough people did it. And it's not like the reward was a crazy good reward that people just, like, didn't happen to get. It was a okay reward it's just that people didn't comply and did not get enough to the goal and it, it didn't work so nobody got the reward so i believe we'll get zero aura no problem it's just a matter of uh, a couple of days time it should be fine so uh yeah and i'll, I'll take a look at uh, some other pokemon that i don't have or that i remember that i don't have capture them and do the whole thing there uh apparently i have one of these pokemon already so oh you're a tr hello how are you Good to see you, Nessa. Well, hello there, champion. Have you come to see me? No, just winding you up a bit. I've got some time to show off for, off for my modeling and gym leader work, so I'm... Oh, you're just chilling. All right, cool. So as I look up in the sky, I'm not seeing any Gigantamax battles. I'm just seeing a couple of Max Raid battles here. Uh, let's check in with our friend over here. Uh, you found 33 Diglets so far, so please find 118 more. But since I found 30, I have an Alolan Sand... Or a regular Sand True. Oh, no, that's an Alolan Sand True. All right, cool. So a lot of these Pokemon I already have either from Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee or from Pokemon Go. So I'm not going to go after them all. I don't really care to, honestly. But you can if you want to get each of the Alolan Pokemon. Uh, if I find them, 
all throughout here, I'll obviously post about them, but or I'll you know record me getting them. But yeah, uh, what I should probably do before I finish off the DLC here is actually try to find uh, a way to what's it called? Like get a Lolan Slowbro. That'd probably be good. Ooh, Gardevoir. All right. Uh, no, I'm good. Because I've done, like, Gallade before. It's fine. So, you know what? Let me actually look that up right now. Because there has to be a specific thing in order to get that Pokemon. All right. So, you need eight of these Galarica Twig. And then you exchange that for a Galarica Cuff. So, I need to find a lot of these Twigs underneath trees and whatnot. And then that'll get me what I need to evolve into Slowbro. So, I guess that'll be the overarching... Thing to do for this uh, video here. You probably find a bunch of them surrounding each of the trees around the entire region here. There's a couple of Diglett chilling around here. Cool. Uh, I watched somebody, uh, one of my favorite content creators, Abdallah Smash, do this, and he found every single one of these Diglett in like four hours. So I'm definitely not doing that. Uh, I do not care nearly as much to get all those, and you may say, Brian. You're not being a very thorough content creator where you're not, you know, you're not showing every little thing here, dude. Like, why are you not doing that? And it's like, well, I don't really have the energy to do that, nor do I think it's really important. Because if you end up transferring things from Pokemon Go, then you're not going to really need to get all of them. And if you happen to have uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, then, you know, there you go. But, like, I don't really need to get all of them, and I, I wouldn't recommend that I, any of you get them, because that's like four hours of time, man. It's a lot of time you could go and, like, play something else, or, like, take a nap, or, like, literally do anything else with your life. So, I'm gonna try to find as many of these Galarica Twigs as I can, and try to explore all these different areas here. Because I didn't go to every single little thing. Like, there's this underwater tunnel way over here. Didn't go over there. Uh, oh, there's another Diglett right here cool so like yeah you, you want to also look for each of these different diglet when there's clear weather you don't want to do this during rainy weather or snowy or anything else like that it's just going to be more of a pain for you to do that and also what i've noticed from the dlc in general there's a ton of items everywhere like items are super littered throughout every i can't go through there awesome uh, items are littered everywhere like really really good items and the isle of armor is so big that it seems like you'll never encounter something like twice like you'll go to a bunch of different areas and did it suddenly just go no okay i was like did it suddenly go to being sunny after not being rainy well, whatever you know you're gonna find plenty of rare candy plenty of other things to do you know so definitely take the time to explore all around and try to find shiny things everywhere and Diglett everywhere and what I found about what I've discovered about Diglett rather is that they are not in the tall grass anywhere they are like around the edges they're underneath trees they're they're like in the surrounding areas so you don't necessarily have to you know go into the wild area at all uh, they're just gonna kind of be lurking around everywhere and uh, a lot of these Pokemon I remember from Sun and Moon so I do want to get, like, Licky Licky. There's a five-star Zeraora, which, I mean, you know, that's great if you want to get some uh, candies and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I'm going to get Licky Licky real quick because that sounds very wrong. But I'm going to go battle this Licky Licky and hopefully capture him because he's, one, again, one of the Pokemon that, like, I have very much so wanted and desire because uh, it's Gen 4, technically. So, False Swipe is the move here. Gallade knows or can learn False Swipe. So, False Swipe basically, as you can see here, uh, leaves the target with at least 1 HP. So, as long as the Pokemon doesn't inflict damage on itself, meaning it doesn't get confused, there's no Sandstorm, there's no Blizzard, whatever, this will get the Pokemon down to 1 health. And then if you happen to put that Pokemon to sleep, then that makes it even better for you to... Um, you know, encounter it, and it looks like this uh, this guy is going to win. So Psychic here, or Hypnosis rather, that's what you want, so that way they can fall asleep. That is a guaranteed fall to sleep situation right there, and then that'll be at least for a couple of turns. 
Uh, I could use this right now. Like, I could use a Pokeball right now and make it happen. I'm going to go for a Psychic right here, just because it's a much more powerful move. And there we go. So probably... Oh, you woke up. Wow, okay. Let's go back for the Hypnosis one more time. It should be a situation where... I mean, by now, it should work. Also, I don't know if there's anything to it. I don't I don't think there is. I think the higher level you are, the, the easier it is to catch Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. I think I mentioned that in my playthrough before. But I think that's the case. So we have a little bit of a level advantage here, and that's safe and secure right there. Bada-bang, baby. Uh, licky, 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 licky. Everybody likes a, a little licky, licky. Anyways, all right, whatever. Sand true. I forgot. All right. Keep, no, keep all the old moves. I'm not going to train this sand true. No, keep it. Keep it. Just keep whatever moves. <laughs> it's fine. All right, I, I forgot. I got to give him, bring him to the box. Licky Licky Strange Tongue can stretch too many times the length of its body. No one has figured out how Licky Licky's tongue can stretch so far. The mysteries of the tongue shall uh, be talked about for many generations. All right. So Licky Licky is going to go into here. Man, I, and like, I, I am... So, what I've wanted to do really badly was make videos on my, my completion of the Pokedex. Because I do want to get a 100% complete, 100 complete Pokedex eventually. That is my overall like life goal to eventually get every single Pokemon. I'm not anticipating that taking like my entire life. But like... You know, I'm not in any rush to do that either. It's just kind of, all right, it's here. I get it done when I get it done. It's whatever. I'm not, like, actively searching out for every single Pokemon. Like, it's it's not like, a, all right, I'm going to sit down for 10 hours and do a checklist and do it that way. It's just like, all right, if I stumble across a Pokemon, I stumble across a Pokemon. It's fine. But, like, I need to be able to transfer things from Pokemon Go. That way I can figure out what Pokemon I need. Because some of those Pokemon, uh, a lot of them are repeats, to be totally honest with you. A lot of them are definitely repeats. But a lot of them are totally like, there's one twig, cool. I need three more. And then th that we're good. Um, but I need to just figure out what I do and don't have, you know? I don't want to... What is that? That is... Oh, hello. Um, ooh, okay. This is Tang Growth. This is another one of those Gen 4... Evolutions there. That's a big boy. It's a big ball of curly stuff. So, yeah. All right. Definitely going to capture him. But, uh, yeah, I've wanted to do that for a very, very long time. I just haven't had... Uh, like, they haven't linked that up yet so I can transfer the, the Pokemon from home. Or from Go into home. And I'm waiting for them to do that. Hopefully that happens Ooh, sooner rather than later. Ouch, let's get a little hypnosis happening here. Jeez, yep. Please go right to sleep, Tang Growth. Mamma mia. Uh, probably going to use a lot of the candies on Gallade. I haven't even named Gallade. And I, I even forgot to, like, like where to, to get the name done. Like, to change the nickname at the Pokemon Center back on the mainland there. So, I know that's where it was. Oh, that could be bad. Yeah, that could be... Oh, all right. Well, that's fine. All right. I'll take that. Um, Wait, Vision knows Hypnosis as well. Okay. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do... Could Hypnosis get a critical? I don't think so. No. Uh, Okay. Do that. Don't get a critical. Right? Don't do it. And... Ooh, that's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted right there. Beautiful. All right. So now we'll go with a little hypnosis, and then this is the optimal thing to do. Because in grain... Oh, never mind. Okay. In grain is going to cause him to keep healing up. But yeah, whatever. All right, cool. So vision is going to come out now. Hopefully do a little damage. But uh, yeah, I've been waiting to do that for a very long time. Still have not been able... Never mind. Oh, he has yawn. It takes one more turn, but whatever. Man, I love Slowking. So cool. Um, but yeah, who knows when that'll actually happen. Hopefully soon. Uh, I would have thought by the time of the first DLC here it would have happened, but clearly 
Not the case. That's a two, and there's a three, and we're good. Beautiful. There's Tang Growth. Uh, all that's left is Rhyperior and Magmortar and Electrovire, but I don't think Magmortar and Electrovire are in this DLC. And so I have a, a long-running theory, kind of. So I, I'm kind of... Ah, uh, okay. So they're making a Pokemon announcement on the 24th, which you will not know what that is by the time you're... Wa like, you'll know what it is by the time you're watching this, but you won't know, like... I, can't, I won't be able to tell you, because I will have already been long done with this series, or this DLC. So, I thought it might be a Generation 4 remake, just like they did with uh, Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, that generation kind of Pokemon games. And unfortunately, the rumor, not the rumor, but like the inference people are making, is that it is Let's Go Johto. Which would basically be Let's Go Togepi and Meryl, from what people are gathering. And that means there would be two more Let's Go games. So, uh, and, and the reason why that is rumored or, like, assumed is because in the background of the gentleman, uh, the leader of the Pokemon company, uh, the president, rather, I forget his name, but in the background, he has all sorts of Johto Pokemon, so Suicune, Raikou, Entei, uh, the three starters, Meryl, to like, a lot of Pokemon like that. So, we need two more. Awesome. So, that is, uh, that, that's kind of what people are assuming it's gonna be. Which, obviously, I'm not happy about, because I would much rather, much, much rather have a Generation 4 thing. And what I thought, uh, one more, cool. What I thought was because there wasn't as many Gen 4 Pokemon in the base of Pokemon Sword that there would be even more uh, Pokemon justify, like, left out that way when the remaster happens, they're all there, right? But I don't think that's going to necessarily be the case. Now, the only, the, the couple of Pokemon that are left, that are, you know, obviously Gen 4, but not, like, included in here so far, is the starters. So you get access to a bunch of the starters from each of the previous games, so you get to have, you get to transfer in the ones from Sun and Moon. So Rowlet, Poplio, and, uh, uh, oh, what's it? Litten. Those ones. You can go with Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and then obviously the ones from this game here. But not nearly as many as you want, obviously. You can't transfer the Johto ones or the um, Johto... Oh, what's it called? Sinnoh, obviously, and then Johto Sinnoh. You ever have a brain fart and you're just like, you can't process reality anymore? That's what I just did. So, Generation 3. The Generation 3 starters you cannot bring into the game. So, that's like, alright, that's more of a reason why there would be more things to, you know, leave in for a Gen 4 remaster. Like, you're not going to include Piplup and Empoleon, because then they would be a part of that. You know? I mean, I don't know. The only thing that could make me think it wouldn't be anything related to Gen 3 is because there are three new Reggie as a part of the... There we go. There's a Galarcia Twig. Um, as a part of the new DLC. So, it's like, alright. You know, you're adding new Reggie here. I don't think I have Kramerin, actually. You're adding the new Reggie, which is really cool. No, I think I do, actually. So, you would rather wait to have that in your DLC, right? Why would you want to have it in this, right? Or rather, you would want to have it in Generation 3 Remaster or something like that. Why would you include it here? So that's why I'm like, oh, so they're not going to have a Gen 3 remake. They would have Gen 4. But then again, they do have, like, all of, or most of the, um... Oh, cool. Arakuda. I don't think I have you. I might, actually. I don't know. I've lost track at this point. I don't know what I do and don't have. I do have you. All right, cool. Luckily, it does tell you. Like, a vast majority of the Generation 4 legendaries, Dialga, Palkia, and I believe the three Lake Spirits as well, are all included in that. So I don't know what would... Uh, I, I don't know if uh, Giratina is a part of that, actually. Giratina might not be included. But you know, I, I don't know if they would actually do a Gen 4 remake. I would certainly hope they do 
That is the only Pokemon generation of the original, like, you know, Nintendo DS and 3DS games that, like, hasn't gotten a remaster yet. So, obviously, after Generation 4 would be 5, but then, you know, now you're caught up to the Nintendo 3DS era that's relatively recent. And then, by the time those deserve remakes, it'll be a long time from now. So, I think Gen 4 deserves it. I really hope that is the case. As of right now, five days from now, uh, you know, four days from now, whatever, it's going to be uh, at the time of that announcement. I don't know what it could be, but nobody knows right now. So, yep, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. And I'm assuming a lot of these Diglett are located around here. Yep. These Diglett are very close together. Uh, it turns out they did not take a lot of effort in, like, transferring them even or distributing them evenly across the island. They're just kind of in very obvious spots. So uh, what I'm going to do is find the specific island that she is at, I believe. Yep. Okay. So let's say we go over here. Uh, the island is right here, way down here. So I'm going to go there and exchange it for the cuff and evolve Slowbro. Okay, so that Rotom is still there. All right. <clears throat> it must change with the type of weather. Definitely does. Uh, one of the Diglett is over here, by the way. I believe that is one of the only ones that is on a higher elevation. So keep that in mind in case you want to miss that one. You don't want to do that. Uh, are there any more over here? Probably not. All right. So apparently this trainer here, this random woman who is left to stand here for all of eternity... Is just waiting for you to want this cuff. Where does she sleep? Where does she eat? Nobody really knows, but whatever. There's a Galarcia cuff. Galarica cuff, rather. A cuff made from woven together Galarica twigs, giving it to Galarian Slowpoke makes the Pokemon a very happy. All right, so obviously you can get multiple of these if you want to get a specific or, you know, get an even better a slow bro or something like that. I'm obviously I don't really care about that. I just care about getting one to give to him because he's a special cool looking Pokemon, right? And I'm always confused. It's a, it's under other items. All right. Sort by name again, okay? Galarcia. Yeah, Galarica. All right. Not Galarcia, Galarica. All right. Grab you. This is the one that we got at the train station way at the beginning here, so it's going to be level 10. So that's fine. And then I can obviously use a bunch of uh, candies on it if I want to. Incompa- Oh, because you have a- You have a thing there. Okay. Well, no, I don't want to do the, the camp. Sorry. All right. So that King's Rock will allow a slow poke to be traded and turn into slow king. So that is still a very valuable item. You want to hang on to that. That is clearly not how you're going to get Galarian slow king- when that is officially announced, that is a part of, like, the reveal trailer. So, uh, put back in your bag. There we go. Actually, I should go for a held item. Open your bag. Cool. That is going to be whatever it's going to... Can I really not... Oh, that's a standard slow poke. Oh. Oops. All right, my bad. Well, uh, you are... Where? There you are. Hello. All right. Oops. Well, that's good. They give you a, a King's Rock as well. I, You know, it was fine. The, are the pinks different? Yeah, that's more of a muted pink. That is a brighter pink. It's very similar. It's very, very similar, but whatever. All right. Galarica Twig. Galarica Cuff, rather. There we go. I wonder what the typing is. A sci uh, people thought it was like a psychic poison, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. Normally, Slowpoke evolves into Slowbro via level up, but here it's using that cuff. Yeah, he looks really cool, though. And I'm really hoping Galarian Slowking looks really baller. I really hope so, but here's hoping, man. Poison and Psychic. Wow, what a form, man. Uh, a Shelter Bites set off a chemical reaction with the species inside Slowbro's body, or the spices inside Slow. Slowbro has spices in his body? Spicy. Causing Slowbro to become a poison-type Pokemon. I wish that would happen to me. Uh, Shell Sidearm. That must be his exclusive move. Uh, one of only a few Pokemon, actually, that are new, a part of this game here. Uh, we'll get rid of uh, Acid there. 
So yeah, as a part of this uh, DLC, he's one of only three. So there's technically that Pokemon. There's Kubfu and Urshifu. Those are the three new Pokemon, technically. Even though Slowbro is a Galarian form, but you get what I mean. So in terms of the DLC, that is everything I have seen and that I want to really cover. Uh, you can do max raid battles. You can peruse. You can collect much, many, many, many more Pokemon. There are 210 Pokemon as a part of the Isle of Armor Pokedex. So you have plenty of more Pokemon to see and plenty of Diglett to find. Overall, what do I think? I like the DLC. From what I've seen about the Crown Tundra, that seems like the objectively bigger and better one. It seems like there's a lot more to do. The main thing involves three new Reggie forms, Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel. And, and just a lot more with the legendary Pokemon, which I'm really, really excited for. Get all the legendaries that you may have missed out on. So, uh, here's a new Pokemon right here. Raichu, which you can get. That's Alolan Raichu. That's dope. So, if you get 50 of those, that's a really good Pokemon there. Um, if you find 50, I think I got 50. Yeah, I totally did. So, there we go. And then I have a Marowak, which Alolan Marowak is really cool as well. He's kind of hot garbage, but he's cool. So, Fire and Ghost, you would think that would be very good. Not as good as you think, but that's fine. Uh, you're going to get sent to a box and probably never be used by me ever, but that's fine. So, I like it. I will see you again in Pokemon Sword for the Crown Tundra, because that is going to be the more inter interesting DLC. And, yeah. Maybe that Pokemon announcement is going to be Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum Remasters. Maybe it's Let's Go Johto. I have no idea. I want to thank you guys and girls for pip pip and cheerioing with me as always. My name has been Brian Saviano Bricks O'Brien. I'll see you again next time for more Pokemon Sword in the form of the Crown Tundra or something else entirely different. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.